Hello everybody and welcome to the Meadows for another edition of Playoff Wiffle Ball in MLW. That's right, the 2021 postseason has begun. We have the Magic and Cobras going at it in the 2021 ALDS. Super excited to get the postseason rolling here this season. And as you guys know, it's postseason now, no more pitching limit. And this is big for the Magic because they have two aces now, but they can go either way. No more six inning limit for these guys. Pitchers can throw as much as they want all series long. And for the Magic today, they have four guys here, their best four in my opinion. It's Jack Agner, Jason Chadwick, Trevor Bonham, and Liam Jackson. A kind of a star-studded roster, as I mentioned before. They played well against the Cobras in their previous series, taking that series 2-1 to one to clinch the postseason. Highlighted by that Trevor Bonham walk-off home run. And the Magic here are seeking their first ever postseason series win. And when you look at the Coastal Cobras, they've got four guys here today. Drew Davis, Sean Flynn, Brendan Baranowski, and Gus. No Andy Duran here today. He's at football camp at Albion College. Um, I think he's really the X Factor, and I think if they lose the series today, I think that might be the reason why, Tommy. I don't want to say it's all because of Andy, but I really think Andy's a great player, and having him not here is really a big loss. Uh, but you look at the, the last six games for each of these two teams, they've been very similar teams, both 3-3 three and three on the year. The Magic have a 17-17 run differential, while the Cobes are 15-14. I mean, statistically, they're very even through the second half, so uh, we'll see who makes the best adjustments here today. Um, I think it's going to be a great series. Yeah, and we are also excited to announce that we are hosting a fan festival on October 22nd in York, Pennsylvania at the U.S. Tournament. The U.S. Tournament is happening that weekend, the 22nd to the 24th of October. We're going to have an MLW squad down there competing, as well as hosting a little fan festival on Friday night full of activities, home run derbies. We're going to have merch, maybe do some giveaways, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're in the York, Pennsylvania area, please check that out. And time now for the player interviews. It's a very early morning. It's a lot of, a lot of pressure, maybe you could say, a lot of excitement. What do you think is weighing more on the Magic team? Honestly, Kyle, for today, just excitement. We're happy to be here. Great day for Wiffle Ball, early morning, like you said. All we got to do is stick to the fundamentals, see if we got any Magic left in the tank. All right, Drew Davis, big day today. Surging Magic team in front of you. How do you beat them? Listen, execution is key. No tricks, no gimmicks. We just win. That's the plan. All right, ALDS 2021, here we go. Drew Crash Davis, Grand Rapids Community College. Sean Flynn, Michigan State University. Brendan Baranowski, Western Michigan University. Trevor Bonham, HHU. Jason Chadwick, Adrian College. Jack Agner, B. Bryant University. Let's go, baby. The 2021 postseason is here. Metro Magic, Coastal Cobras, ALDS. Swing and he went around. Strike three. On the first at-bat of the day. Yeah. To left center, doesn't have enough. Bottom under it, two away in the first. Whew. Grounder back to Chad with fair ball. Can't make the play, he's there! The ball is in play. In play, in play, in play. Baranowski is in there with a single. Off the arm. Ball four, first and second out for the Cobes. Crowder up the middle. Agner makes the play at second base. That's an out. A fielder's choice as Drew Davis storms around third. He would have scored if Agner didn't come up with that play at second. Scoreless after the top of the first. Crowder up the middle. Two, 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 Agner two, two. makes the play at second base. That's an out. Drew Davis on the mound for the Coastal Cobras. Walked him on a full count pitch. Hard hit back to the mound. He's in there at second base. Bottom safe at second. Chatty safe at first and the Magic are in business for Agnes. Hard hit to the left side. Barry can't make the play and we're loaded. In the bottom of the first, a walking through singles for the Magic. Bottom now with the bases juiced. Just outside, the Magic lead it 1 0 in game one. What a sweeping riser from Drew Davis. One away. What a pitch, strike three on the slide drop. Two away. Swing and a miss on the drop ball strike three. Drew ends the frame. Magic get one though in the first. They lead it going into the second inning. Come on, 
hard hit to the right side. Out at first. Good play from Agner. Here's Drew Davis, one away in the second. Swing and a miss on the drop ball, strike three. And a shot flip bomb! Solo shot was tied at one. Oh man. It's one of the biggest home runs in his kid's career. Let's go! Cobes are amped. There's a line drive over the right field fence. 1-1 one, one ball game. In 2019, I probably threw. He got all of it. Lost him. Ball four. Pop just missed it. Chadwick bobbles, makes the grab. Rebounds and makes that grab. Ends the frame. 1-1 one, one ball game though. Flynn ties it up with a solo shot. <laughs> Slide drop nicked it. We have audible evidence. To left field, that's gonna be a single for Jack Agner. This man is putting everything in play. Another single for 92. Swing and a miss on the slide drop, strike three. Two strikes on Chatty. Left it. That's gonna be ball four, first and second. Ooh, off of the his A. Ball four. Loaded. Pitch coming from Drew. Slide drop, strike three. Drew digs deep, throws a great slide drop and gets out of the inning. We're not at one going to three. Let's go. Sean Flynn, God! Oh man, two solo shots in game one. It's two one goals. They lead it in the third inning. Sean Flynn locking in, having one of the best games of his wiffle ball career. He's coming up clutch for Cobra Nation. Oh my goodness. Baranowski to left field. Bottom. Can't make the play. It's in play. That's pass. One, one base. That's out of play by a ball. Pass the out of play line. He'll take second. Swing and a miss on the slider. Sean Flynn to right center. Agner at the wall. Two down. Flynn almost has his third of the day. Oh my god. Flynn to right center. No, Agner at the wall. Jeez. Sean ate his Wheaties today. Inside ball four. First and second for Davis. Swing and a miss on the drop ball, strike three. We head now to the bottom of the third. Cobra is looking to close it out and win game one. Fair ball, Chadwick over the base, that's a single. That's what they need. Agner is now the go ahead run. The game winning run, if you will. He steps in. Swing a shot to left field to Baranowski to flip to second. Got him at second. Fielder's choice, nice play from Baron. Flynn with a great cover at second base. That is how you do it. Grounder to Drew. Makes the play as Agner heads to third. Drew stumbles and Agner's in there. The game tying run is 40 feet away. Here is Jason Chadwick. Inside, ball four, first and third for captain. Ball four on four straight, three, two count. Low! Oh man, we're tied at two. What an incredible at-bat from Bonham. Walked him on a full count pitch. 
We are tied at two. One more run for the Magic. We'll get him that game one victory. Here's Chadwick. To left, Barrett off the hand. It's gonna be a single. Jason Chadwick walk off single. The Metro Magic win game one. Three two is the final score. Baranowski almost snagged it, but that was a shot off the bat of Jason Chadwick. He had two strikes on him. What a clutch hit. Let's go! And the Metro Magic are one win away from advancing to the 2021 ALCS. Game two coming up. Yep, we're good. Game two. Cobras are the home team. Bottom to lead it off. One win away from their first ever playoff series win. Atta boy. Walked them. Back to Drew. Got him. What a play from Drew Davis. Bottom will advance to third base on the throw, but a ground out, and Drew makes a nice play. Riser strike three. For Liam Jackson, first at bat of the day. Lost him. Strike three on the firm drop ball. Cobras now look to strike first in game two. Making his first ever playoff appearance on the mound. Trevor Bonham. Drew Davis to right, foul ball. Catch. The play. Diving catch. I've gotten out. I've gotten out in front of the fence extended. One away in the bottom of the first. Sean Flynn to center field. God! Sean Flynn with his third home run of the day. 1 0 code. He's having a legacy day. Reggie Jacks Flynn. Reggie Jacks Flynn. <laughs> what up with Sean? What has gotten into you? <laughs> Three home runs in a playoff Jeez, series. Man. It does not happen often. Sean Flynn to center field. Oh my God! Sean Flynn to center field. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Baranowski just missed all of that one. Bonham makes the grab right in front of first base. Two down. Swing and a miss on the slider strike three. Ends the first. But Sean Flynn's third home run of the day makes it a one nothing game going to two. Grounder, back to Drew. Easy play, one away. Swing and a miss on the slide drop again. Low. There's a walk to Liam Jackson. With two away for Trevor Bonham. Trevor Bonham to center field, two run shot. Come on. They now lead game two, two to one. What a huge home run for this kid. This team is a whole different club in purple. Number two, Bonham, has changed this squad. This game just turned upside down. Two one ball game. Trevor Bonham. Wow. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Flared. Drew has that easily. That's the third out, 2 1 ball game. Going to the bottom of the second. Cobes need to have a little bit of a sense of urgency here. Sean Flynn to center field. Liam Jackson makes the grab. Every single at bat. Flynn is putting pressure on these Magic boys. One away. Ground ball, hard hit to the left side. Liam Jackson to first. 
got him at first. Two away. In the second. Swing and a miss on the slider strike three and bottom type. Two one ball game. As we head to the third inning. One, two, three, go the Cobes in the second. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down in the third. In. Strike three on the slide drop, two away. Flared, Drew! Hit the ground. Yes, he did, I think so. Strike three. And we go now to the bottom of the third in a 2-1 ball game. Magic lead it 2-1. And look to close it out and advance to the ALCS. Bonham back on the mound. Here we go. Swing and a miss. 73, it's another ball. And we've seen it happen to Crash, and now it happens to Bonham. A walk due to the speed limit rule. Let's go. Swing and a miss on a low riser. Strike three, first of the inning. Here's Drew Davis with the one away. Popped to right field. Agner under it. Two down for Sean, who has three home runs on the day. Drew Davis will take his spot at first base. He is the tying run. It all comes down to this. Swing a shot to left field. Liam Jackson makes the grab. The Metro Magic advance to the 2021 ALCS. It's their first playoff series victory ever. The 2019 expansion team finally does it. They get a playoff series win. Defeat the Cobras 2-0, sweep them in the ALDS. Unreal stuff, Flynn gave it a shot to left field, but Liam Jackson makes the grab. The Metro Magic are surging. They're a brand new ball club. They will be playing the Western Wildcats in the ALCS. Unreal. Swing a shot to left field, Liam Jackson, they go! All right, I'm here with Drew Davis and three-year player with the Cobras, Sean Flynn. Sean first, uh, incredible day at the plate. Three home runs. It's, it's honestly the best I've ever seen you play, um, but you come up short today. Just what can you say about today and the season overall for the Cobras? Um, so, first of all, we got work to do this offseason. We're not, we're not getting balanced first round and not making it. We got to keep working, maybe get a new player to get some chemistry rolling, and we'll be back better than ever next year for sure. Drew, any words after a hard-fought battle today? Uh, yeah, that's heartbreaking, man. Uh, I just uh, got to applaud their, like, my team, man. Today, I don't even I don't deserve to be on that field with them after what they did today. Uh, I take that one, man. Um, we're just going to look back, plan for next year, and hopefully we can put something together next year. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I'm saying these words. But the Metro Magic have just won a playoff series. Congratulations, fellas. Well deserved. I'll go to Agner first. What does it mean? I mean, you've been a manager for this for this team for the last three years, and you know this is as far as you've gone. You've you've lost the ALDS a couple times. So what's it mean to finally get over that hump and advance to the ALCS? It feels great. You know, I, every year I feel like we're always there, always just a couple hits, couple outs away. This year, you know, able to put it together, finally get to that ALCS, but. You know, we're not done yet. We're coming for you guys. And then real quick, I'll go to Trevor with the big two-run home run and the win in that big uh, game, too, to get the sweep. Trevor, just how does it feel to, you know, come onto this new squad? and It feels like it's a whole new team, so uh, just speak to your team's victory. Honestly, uh, it, it was a good win. Uh, I pitched good, but just the fact that Jack just brings energy to the team and keeps us all up, that's the reason yep. that we're playing so good. It's Jack, I'm telling you. <laughs> and then Liam, Jason, anything? I mean, just an incredible day at the ballpark for the Metro Magic. Uh, yeah, it was fun. I, we were always one piece away from really breaking through. I think Trevor was that piece. I mean, the last two series, he's balled out, so I'm just happy to be in the ALCS. 
yeah. my guy Liam, anything? Just the best atmosphere we've had since I've been on the team. Mm -hmm. um, just any time we're down, it does not feel like we're out of it. And I love that about us, so I'm excited to get to the next series. I 100% agree. This Metro Magic, they feel like a very hot, surging team. And I will have to deal with them next week in the ALCS. But I'm looking forward to that. It should be a great series. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe in that corner. See the last video from us in that corner. Merch, Tourney Times, Podcast, Patreon, Twitch. All of our links are in the description. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I mean, I've had, I've had my fair share of highs and lows this year for sure, but nothing like crazy where I'm like, oh, I was stressed out. Okay, all star day I was stressed out, but I've already told that whole story of how the whole, I lost the phone in the attic and we got locked out of the phone and I had to go back home and the banners, like I've already told that story. So that was pretty yeah. cool. But yeah, my number one downfall and the piping up listeners are probably sick of hearing it by now was, was the mosquitoes this year. I mean, it had to have been like a health hazard, the amount of bites I got. Like I looked like I was a, a paintball massacre victim a couple times. Like it was just, it was bites everywhere. Like how do they get under your shirt? Or like, do they bite you through your shirt? But like my whole back is covered in mosquito bites. I've never, I've never personally had something that I would consider like a panic attack, but that's the closest I've ever come. I think was when I just like walked through this horde of like 150 mosquitoes no, no and bad. I look like instantly I, all of them are like attacking me and I actually like freaked out. If someone was watching us play from afar, not knowing the conditions, the mosquitoes, they'd probably think that I'm clinically insane. I'm yeah. Like, slapping like schizophrenic or something. In the yeah. In the Tommy, you talk you every like, five seconds. You dude. verbally like get into these mosquitoes, <laughs> well, bro. Dude, I, no. I always want to be like, Tommy, it's happening to everybody. Just yeah, chill out. I, dude, I swear to God, they like me but more. Every I'm not five seconds, you. they'd be like, oh, dude, another one. And it would slap they, his arm. I, I have scars. I like I, I, I actually would like scratch myself to the point of bleeding on my legs, and I now have scars from this summer. <laughs> People who don't know me from the league, like personally, like we've hung out a couple times, or like at least like gone out to eat or something in, in a relaxed or chill environment, probably don't like me because I'm usually complaining about sweating or I'm complaining about mosquitoes. One of the two things. Yeah. Mosquitoes. I'm, I'm sorry, but like I was getting eaten alive. I'm getting massacred out there. I'm getting. You need to get you a hazmat. Physically, suit. it was bloodshed. I have blood all over my legs. I'm gonna keep slapping. Yeah. They already got me. It's too late. The itchiness is not a is not a problem. The physical bites, like, it's not like it's painful or anything like that. It's literally, I'm like, I'm getting bitten by so many mosquitoes. This cannot be healthy. Test your manhood out I'm there. I'm getting 15 to 20 bites. It's a war three zone. times a week. I mean, come on now. But I mean, yeah. And we we come with like we have bug spray, and it's just it doesn't matter. Tommy said that Tommy's said he's never been happy after putting on bugs. He said he's never said these words. Wow, I can't believe I put on bug spray. That was great. I have never been like this. True. Incredible. Yeah. I've never been satisfied That's your quote with, a right there. with a with a cutter product, <laughs> a off product, any off brand product. I've never been like, this is a bug spray I would be happy to purchase again and recommend to my aunt. If off comes if off comes to us with a sponsorship uh, offer, would you take that or are you declining them right away? I'm declining. I I, I need a product <laughs> that I can stand behind so that way. That, if Tom doesn't support it, he can't. He can't put the banner up. What? What's the? Yeah. What? What price is it gonna have to take for a ban off banner for I'm you not, to accept I'm it? I'm not a sellout. For you to get behind them, get, send me a new product. Give me a new formula. Do something because this is not working. <laughs> uh, off. What if? What if off came? What? If, what if someone from off came and like did like a like mosquito fog thing? So yeah, at the meadows. We need to fog. We've never done that. If they did that. Yeah. I That's worth a for, banner. I will pay for the fogging out of pocket myself <laughs> next year for the whole league. Yeah. I don't think it's that expensive, but um, off. Listen to this, guys. Talk about just being a horrible company. <laughs> 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 off sells a candle, okay? And my aunt bought it. We had it lit up north at the kitchen or at the countertop outside. It looked like kitchen countertop we have outside. And we're like, oh, the mosquitoes are still terrible. This, this thing doesn't work. I'm like, yep, no bug sprays work. I'll, I'm ranting, you know. I, I look at the packaging. It just says, does not repel. Like, it's not a repellent. It's just an off-brand mosquito. It's like off, like OFF exclamation point. That brand. Like, well, What is the... It's, I don't know. So it's just a candle? It's just a candle. What? What? Sick what? Person <laughs> thought that was a good idea. 
they're just duping all their customers. Yeah, that's a dupe. A complete bamboozle. I mean, that is a it's, scheme. It's a get rich quick scheme. That's like, well, I don't, I can't even compare that to anything else. I mean, that's like, I, I don't know what else to say. You are a mosquito and insect repellent company. Why does your candle not repel insects? Or why don't you spend less time making candles and more time making better bug spray? Bug spray that works. We need some more violent if ingredients someone, on, these, someone, on these literally, uh, repellents. I will pay you. That's the problem. If someone out there is listening, of the 2,000 listeners, there's not many people out there out of the whole, what is it, 200 million in the U.S. almost? A lot of people in the U.S. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I agree, Jack. I think that's the problem. We need some so, more severe ingredients in well, these yeah. repellents. So that's, that's the issue. The whole climate debate. And I don't want to get into that. But Let's if someone, some out there, on the pod. someone out there is listening. Send and us has if you have a, any affiliations with. If you have a insect repellent that you are satisfied <laughs> with, I will literally pay you a commission fee every time I buy the product if I like it. I will continue to buy it. I'll send you 50 cents on Venmo every time for the rest of my life. <laughs> so <laughs> Lifetime contract. Literally. Here's the issue, somebody, Tom. Somebody please endorse the Midwest Mallards. God. Here's the here's the issue. It's it's how it's how committed are you to solving your need now and putting your future needs or hazards aside. The main ingredients in bug spray is D, uh, right? So off off is probably using what like maybe twenty five like thirty percent D. Not enough. Not it's not doing anything. <laughs> Trust me, you can buy bug spray that is like 95 percent deep I don't think and oh it works trust me tom it works trust me let me tell you this is not a we don't we don't talk about politics on this podcast but let me tell you if it works man i mean i, I know maybe was it cancer causing bad for the yeah, environment be some he is not good for you yeah it's not good for you god i just need something that keeps the bugs off me man because i can't even like long sleeves won't work they bite me through my shirt they bite me through the clothes. Hazmat suit. That's your only option. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we should just get like a beekeeping company to sponsor us. We can just all walk around in like bee suits. You look like you're from like ET. If I could get an air conditioner, yeah. it wouldn't be a bad idea. I'd do it. I don't care how stupid I look. But uh, Or we should just release like a ton of spiders. That's at how the meadows. You need a yeah. someone with spiders to just. Or bats. Bats. Yeah, bats. I'll do bats, not spiders. Yeah. Bats would kind of be cool. That would be a little bit of a. Like ambiance as the sun's going down, there's bats flying around us. Pretty spooky. 